idea or the word fruits of democracy comes from the fact that, you know, we're trying to pose a question on the one hand. Have we been able to reap the fruits of this democracy that has been so hardly fought for? This concept, I remember, was actually thought of by the founder of Fruits of Democracy, Olua Mwazi, that why is it that young people of the Nelson Mandela Bay are celebrated once they have left the city? In 2015, when we initiated the project, um, it was basically because of what was happening in the media. Um, in our city, the municipality, um, Wherever we looked, it was really about corruption and you know politicians that, that did this and all of that. Um, but we knew sufficient number of people, young people, who were doing excellent work. So that is why we started and um, immediately we wanted to convene a group of 80 young people um, in the locality so that we can just among one another, just note one another and say, look, I've seen what you've done celebrated, this is what I'm learning from you, this is what I would like to ask, um, and do this once a year. I think if I were to describe PE, for me, it's, 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 a, it's a fountain of creativity. I think there's so much inherent talent in the city. If you look at its history, um, it's, there's a strong culture of arts and culture in the city. Um, activism, vibrancy, it's always been a sort of a meeting point uh, in this region for, for, for the Eastern Cape. Um, so I, it's, it, that vibrancy has carried through in, in a lot of ways in how people are from PE and, and in a lot of ways how we do things in PE. Just to give it a bit of context, E Force of Democracy started from a non-partisan organization called Inkulu Free Aid. This was an organization that saw a lot of young South Africans um, nationwide coming together and saying, we feel that we have a voice and um, the leaders and decision makers are not hearing us. So if we come together from a non-partisan perspective, whether you're a member of the ANC, the DA, the EFF, you know, whatever your political affiliation may be, this is a forum where we as young people come together and speak the same voice. And one of our slogans was, nothing for us without us. If you're going to make decisions about young people, you involve young people and not come together as, you know, retirees and sit and make decisions for young people on, on their behalf without any of them being represented. fruits of democracy, I think my drive, my passion to change Ibai, like the artist is recognized as a respect of Ibai. The partners that are involved in, in the project come from different sectors. Um, so we are able to, you know, lean on those expertise in terms of getting a sense of who are the uh, movers and shakers within those fields. But another in, um, maybe important um, aspect and, and um, sponsorship that we've had and, and have enjoyed is the Red Location Art Gallery. Um, and we've been able to, uh, to tap into, you know, the, the historic narrative of Nelson Mandela Bay. We've been able to um, tap into the arts and culture sector. People can then nominate um, somebody that they think is, is you know, has the, the, the values or the, the caliber that we outline in our criteria. Once we get those nominations, then we have a process where we, uh, you know, evaluate. The, the nomination process itself is a very public and transparent process, so we are very upfront in terms of the criteria that we use to award. If we could, we would want to take each and every one of those names and build a, a sustainable profile uh, not just nationally but internationally um, in order to move uh, you know uh, much more practically those young and emerging leaders that are developing in in the nelson mandela metro so this was basically a platform to say let's showcase these people let's profile them let them be a part of our alumni and let them use their networks as well to say that they are part of this movement. The, the sort of vision that we have for the awards is that it will really be um, a, a platform and an opportunity 
uh, for, for some of the talent that is no longer even in the Eastern Cape or in PE to come back and plow back in. Uh, uh, you know, if you want it to be an, a, 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 the, the, this network of excellence. The event is the fruits of democracy. Like, you know, the people are be excited to win awards. The people like youngsters, as far as I'm, come together, excited, of man award, of man recognition. From celebrating this talent, we also wanted to have proper engagements around what it meant for us then and what it means for us now um, to be in a democratic uh, South Africa, in a democratic city. About the fruits of democracy, I think they must continue doing what they do. And now I feel like townships because you corner it talent with townships and the one the fruits of democracy are more capable of the talent inside the townships. So fruits of democracy is that account therefore of young people of emerging leaders of uh, you know people who feel uh, that they do not have to wait for anyone to do anything and that come hail or high waters, they really would actually fight for the ideas that they've actually established.